Yo guys, hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video and welcome to yet another explained video where I will show you how to install firmware. So without further delay, let's make it happen. So first of all, let's talk about which firmware to flash and I'll talk about mostly Xiaomi devices and you can just Google it with your devices and space firmware and you will find a firmware in XDA thread. So just go ahead over there and follow the instructions I say in this video. So firstly, let's talk about which one to download. Go to this XDA thread from the description box below. As you can see, it says global beta over here. This means this is from the latest global beta MIUI ROM. And I use this topmost one over here. Here is a guide on the screen for you. Top one will not relock your bootloader. Bottom one may relock your bootloader. And if you are still confused, ye raha guide. Upper wala flash karne se koi dikkat nahi hogi. Niche wala flash karoge to what lag sakta hai bhai. And yeah, you can flash stable firmwares if you want to. But in my opinion, beta ones would be better and newer. And it's the same thing over here too. Upar wala flash karo, niche wala nahi. And you may ask that why on earth you will need firmware file to flash? Well, first of all, if you are a custom ROM user, you should know that ROMs like Epic ROM or MIUI Pro ROM always break stuff like fingerprint scanner, Vault DE, I mean the second sim Vault DE and stuff. Even I have faced it, I have a PC fingerprint scanner on my device and I have faced it too. Like when I clean flash another ROM like Nitrogen OS or something, there is no fingerprint scanner option. Then we need the firmware files. And always make sure that you are flashing firmware without emmcappsboot.mbn. Because if you flash firmware which includes emmcappsboot.mbn, it will relock your bootloader and it might cause boot loop. So do remember guys, always flash firmware which is without emmc apps boot mbn and i get questions like how to flash firmware with the rom file like before the rom file or after the rom file so if you are clean flashing a rom this is how to flash the firmware as you can see i am using latest official twrp 3.2.1/0 here so as we are clean flashing a fresh new rom so now hit wipe then advanced wipe now select cache Dalvik cache, system and data and swipe to wipe. Now go back and hit install. Locate the ROM, gapps and firmware file in your storage. The order of flashing here is select the firmware file first, then tap on add more zip. Select the ROM file, now tap on add more zip again. Select the gapps file and swipe to confirm flash. When done, reboot. And if you are already using a ROM and you feel something is broken, this is how dirty flash firmware. As you can see, I am already using a ROM. So now, let me boot into TWRP recovery. Once you are booted into TWRP recovery, hit wipe. Now advanced wipe. Now select cache and I'll be cache only and swipe to wipe. Once that's done, go back, hit install. Now select the firmware file. Swipe to confirm flash and reboot. That is it. And if you still do not see fingerprint or vault E or stuff like that, you may have to fastboot flash your device specific stock ROM. There is no other option. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if it helped you. So this has been Tito from KDN Tech signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.